Imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Let's see if we can confront him, but we're gonna stay cool. I appreciate your concern, Mr. Taggart, but it's nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. Uh huh. Let's, uh, let's question him real quick. I'm curious about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hi, Isaiah. You're Taggart's aid, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet once he was, too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. Uh-huh. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Sandoval. What exactly did he do? Nothing. What? Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know. Hoping to be gunned down by the police, rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropathy dependency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet, we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. Huh. Well, that's kind of good, I guess. Athena, you've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age. Well? No. But I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif had done something that could compromise us. Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you should Whoa! Now, if you'll excuse me. I Bam, know. someone's pretty protective. All right. Yo, sir, we got some talking to do, amigo. Boss, we need to talk. Oh, this again? I'm wrong. Great. I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? <laughs> I what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now, but he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board, Preacher may be paranoid, but I got to admit, 
I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay focused on what's important. Uh-huh. Let's see, it was sort of an argument. Let's see. I got a bit like a beta. Let's see. Uh jeez, refocus. Uh, or defend? I want to say, let's refocus. I want to, believe me. I want to catch these guys as badly as you do. But that breach is responsible for every security crisis we've had, including today's. Come on. If you want me to stop these guys, I need to know what kind of data they've had access to. Come on. You're right. You're okay. Right. I'm sorry if I seem evasive. Seem? What's... But you can't expect me to tell you every detail of this company's operations every single day. We're at war here. And it's your job to protect us from enemies who try to take us down. You should have found that loophole without my having to tell you about it. You know, Frank wanted me to hire experts, an outside security firm to protect us, but you convinced me you could do it. Are you saying you were wrong? Really? Let's see, that, that would definitely be him trying to shift the blame there. There goes the beta again. Ah. No, we're going to defend. Fuck yeah. I think I proved myself today. And the only reason I'm worried about that loophole right now is because the data you streamed through it could have been accessed, backtraced, and stolen by the men who attacked us. Our enemies might still find a way to hurt us with it. What? Well, I never considered that. Yeah? Sorry, son. I guess you have proved yourself today. Your concerns about the data being compromised won't really be an issue as long as we stay strong and work together as a team. That's all I've ever tried to do here. Find the best, most qualified people I can and bring them all together so they can complement each other. Now, Megan understood that. That's why she suggested I hire you in the first place. To help this little family of ours survive. Uh-huh. Okay. Very alpha. I guess let's do it. Let's see. Let's do it. Boss, I really don't understand why you're giving me the runaround. Come on. When you hired me, I said I'd give you the best I could, but I can't protect us if you keep hamstringing my every move. If you won't level with me and tell me what it is you're hiding, then I'm out of here. I quit. Adam, 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 wait. You can't leave us. We need you. Now, more than ever. That was appeasing? Really? Eh. All right. Woohoo! The truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now, Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look, I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. But Adam, you'd better be sure. Why? What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. Huh. When you're ready, Come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Look at that, I actually did persuasion correctly. Hot damn, I got access point two. Bitchin'. Okay, so let's see. Disable turrets, okay. That'd be good. Let's, I should probably go for that, shouldn't I? Yeah, you know what, let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Silver tongue, yeah! Ah, it's coming back to me, slowly but surely, it's coming back. Alright, well, let's go check out that shit real quick, shall we? 
Maybe talk with Pritchard too, be like, yo, Pritchard! I found out some stuff. Some things. Yeah. Ah, that always feels good to get the persuasion correct, though. Feels very, very good. Alright, well, uh, what do we got here? Security hub, computer, here we go. Great Thorpe. Uh, nope. I think it's it. Uh, da da da. Other sterile, according to medical reports, I dug up as that carries no common phenotypes either. Okay, so that's our mother. Father. That's us. And, they, and they're not even sure about our date of birth. That's really bad. Okay. Oh, fuck. Don't go back. My bad. Let's see. Uh, Brent, it wasn't easy, but I finally back to some of their past. Medical files. Arthur Jensen had some connections through his old Desert Storm buddies, turned security consultants to have certain records pulled, which is why the family is ghost, but he couldn't hide Margie's records. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, let's see. White Helix Labs. Pay for his wife's medication, antidepressants, yada, yada, yada. Okay, here's the thing. One minute Adam doesn't exist, and the next the Jensen's have themselves a bouncing and healthy five-year-old. That's why they pulled their vanishing act. Okay. Try adopting. Huh. Okay. So maybe Adam wasn't really the birth from them. Maybe. Uh, mentions the problems with Authority figures describe for chain of command, yada yada yada. Here's the thing, when you hired me, you said you wanted to be right between the lines. So here it is, the ev evaluation reads like fiction. Thinking of piss off superior wanted Jensen off the force and had the evaluation rewarded to read like just cause. Most of the high end yada yada respected and like Jensen. Okay. Huh. Alright. Athena tells me you spoke to Sarif. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarif spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? <laughs> Pretty sure I didn't. Well, I do appreciate his cockiness there okay well get a little bit more of an interesting history of Jensen and I bet that's what we're probably going to get more of in the sequel probably is a little more information about Jensen himself because the man's kind of an enigma because uh, it sure as hell feels like he's patient zero from uh, the folders we've read and such He's kind of a history blip as far as his actual origins. The man's interesting, to say the least. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Maggie pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the typhoon or with some other top secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development, self-controlled evolution. Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. 
But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. Huh. Well, guess we're not gonna get many more answers out of that. Oh well. So let's go meet with uh, Malik. Malik, yeah, I think that's her name. I guess we're heading to China next. So obviously, yeah, that's gonna be the next big area we go to. Once we get to China, of course, yeah, that's gonna be where I cut it because it has been a good session. I may say so myself, and damn it, I do. Been a very good session, aside from a couple of the parts I had to cut, but eh. It's all right. Quick cut here, and everything's back in order. All right, girl, you ready to go? Because I'm ready to fucking go. Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're going to love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I'm ready. I thought I was. How long is this going to take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. <laughs> We're going to China. It's going to be fun. So it's going to be very confusing because some of the streets in that place are just like, what the hell? Where am I going? But still, it's good. It's going to be an overall improvement and naturally higher development on our skills. So that's going to be good. And naturally, of course, there'll be another boss lying in wait somewhere here. It's just a matter of finding that boss. We always do. We're Jensen, damn it. Ah. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh. Ooh, water. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Huh. Was fun answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. Shit. That's one way to make new room for a growing population. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens. It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get the penthouse apartments. All right. China. Wonderful. All righty, though, guys. But like I said, I'm going to call it here for now. It, again, it's been fun, but I need a break been doing nothing but recording all day all right so i hope you've been enjoying my minnows i've been enjoying definitely i'm very excited to get started in china once we get back but until then i will see you in the next one my minnows all right see you guys later Bye bye